thing. When I think of trade and I think of pro wrestling, I think of Stephen Moore. <laughs> Stephen, if things are going, if things are going so well, why is a trade war necessary? You don't think it is necessary. Why doesn't the White House get it? Hmm. Well, first of all, I have to thump on my chest a little bit here because I remember uh, a couple days <laughs> after the election, people said we'd have a great depression because of uh, Trump's policies. And, and clearly the economy has ramped up in a big way. And I think it's a real tribute to the deregulation policies and the, and the tax cut that Trump did that I think have really... Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, we just got another report out this morning. Amazing. On top of the, the uh, you know, lowest unemployment rate in 25, 30 years, the, uh, the economy in April and May, according to the Federal Reserve Bank, grew at 4.7 percent. I mean, that's a blockbuster number. Uh, so things are going well. And I was over at the White House yesterday, and I was, you know, my advice to the White, White House is, look, things are going so well right now with the economy. Why would you want to upset this apple mm -hmm. cart? with right. tariffs right now. It, do, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And, you know, we have plenty of jobs in this country. I mean, Trump wanted to, you know, protect a lot of these blue-collar manufacturing jobs, but they're coming back big time. We don't need tariffs right now. Did you get an answer when you posed the question to the White House? <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, actually, you know, there's a lot of division at the White House right now yeah. over yes. uh, tariff Especially policy. Uh, you know, I would say half of the economists over there uh, are very worried about what Trump is doing. Others, uh, others support this. Donald Trump made the decision himself on these tariffs. Um, uh, my opinion is, it, if, it is if you want to pick a fight with China, which maybe it's the time to do that, it doesn't make a lot of sense to, at the same time, pick a fight with Germany, Japan, Korea, Mexico, Canada. We need them on our side if we're going to have a, a big trade uh, dispute with yeah, China uh, right uh, now. And, and Rana, another element of this, you can say it's a, a big deal or a small yeah. deal. You tell me. Presidents don't comment about jobs numbers mm -hmm. before the reports come out. They don't do it because they don't. They don't want to impact the market. Donald Trump tweeted today at 721. The market's opened not, it's not before 721, that's for sure. That's his tweet. He was looking forward to seeing the unemployment numbers at 830. Yeah. So I ask you, what happens next month when he doesn't tweet ahead of the, ahead of the well, market? Well, exactly. And I mean, we say, yeah, I'm glad you're laughing, Stephen. You know, uh, first of all, it's, 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 we're probably going to see the next couple of quarters not come in as strong as this, just FYI. I mean, you know, all of this has just been normalized, right? This is a president that communicates through Twitter. What's more concerning to me is something that Stephen alluded to, which is that there are tremendous splits in this White House. And you get the sense, particularly on trade, but on almost any policy issue, that whoever the last person in the room was, that's who has the president's ear. And there's this lurching at a time when there is so much low-hanging fruit for the U.S. to come together with Europe right now. I mean, Stephen, you, I know you agree with this. There are legitimate trade fights to be had with China, right? China is a serial infringer. Um, you know, China is the real steel problem, not Europe. We could find so much common ground right now with our allies, particularly Germany, which, by that. the way, uh, Germany and China are now doing more trade than Germany and the U.S. are doing. Now, this is a time when Europe actually has a lot of reasons to move closer to China, not the time to well, pick this fight. And it, it seems that someone well, who agrees you know, with other... both of you guys, yeah. um, Stephen, <laughs> is John Casey. Of Ohio. Listen to what he told me yesterday. <laughs> I see they're going to put these tariffs on now yep. on the Europeans. It's no longer America first. What we're seeing now is America alone. And I don't care who you are, how powerful you are, how rich you are, how famous you are, if you go alone, you're going to fall short. But doesn't this also. Uh, the moves against Canada, the EU, Mexico, I mean, especially Canada and the EU in how essential they are in other areas, mm -hmm. standing up against ISIS, standing up against Iran. Does this, does this kind of standoff now bleed into everything else? Well, you know, I think that that's an interesting point when you're bringing in national security because the president is invoking national security in terms of slapping these steel tariffs on. This is not a national security issue. He's doing that because that, that using that provision gives him the most leeway rather than, say, going to the WTO. We need European steel. We need our allies um, in, in bigger fights around technology, around, you know, uh, what artificial intelligence is going to look like. I mean, we need to come together with Europe right now and make sure that the West uh, developed nations, Europe and the U.S., are setting those rules. Stephen, give me a, sorry, go sorry, ahead. Right, no, go ahead. Give, me, give me a final thought, Stephen. Yeah, look, I agree with that. I mean, this is the time. By the way, uh, it's interesting that John Kasich is from Ohio. Ohio is one of those, you know, Midwestern industrial mm -hmm. Rust Belt states that really went 
you know, with Trump. And it's, it's, uh, it's interesting because a lot of those voters, I was there with Trump, a lot of those voters in the Midwestern states, they kind of like these tariffs. They're, they're very suspicious of some of these trade deals. Uh, but we're seeing so many jobs in these states right now, I'm not so sure that they are necessary. Mm. But mm -hmm. people like Rona and I have to do a better job explaining to those blue collar workers why trade is good. Or maybe the president should, that should be tasked with the president. Why yeah, trade is great. Is it should, I mean, come right. on, you shouldn't have to just, you just, you, that should, I, I would I've say, tried, Stephen, I've tried. it's I've not spent your job. Years trying to trade tell shouldn't no, be a wrestling tariffs. match. Tariffs you are need, taxes. <laughs> you need to take a different tactic. We are now talking about pro wrestling. So that, you need to get some <laughs> chairs, and you need to get in there. Yeah, back okay? that folding chair. I'm not promoting violence. I'm just saying, make it look. Like a WWE, yeah. But WWE look, match. it's the only it's, it's only the third inning in this baseball game, and how this turns out. Oh wait, you're switching out, metaphors is, here, this Stephen. This guy. <laughs> I love but a mixed metaphor. I love a mixed metaphor. I am just looking Let's for the see seventh how this inning turns stretch. Out. <laughs> well, we've got a lot more innings. I don't know if we'll all be able to have the stamina for it, though. Great to see you guys. Thanks so much.